welcome Masha Hamilton, who is our 2010-2011 WNBA Award recipient. She is uh, an award-winning author, a journalist, and most importantly, an activist. Uh, she's the founder of the Afghan Women's Writing Project, and if you want to find out more about that, you can go and visit them at www.awwp.org. Masha, it's a great honor to have you here today. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Karen. I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about your work with the Afghan Women's Writing Project, and if you could just you know just give us your overall comments about being here today. We have um, three online workshops for the women. They work with published authors uh, as mentors, teaching them as they go along. And we put their work up online on the site awwproject.org. Um, it's really our mission is to encourage and nurture their voices because too often they are silenced. We hear from them only via their men or the media and not from themselves directly. Now, when was your recent trip to Afghanistan and what did you accomplish there? Um, most recently, I went at the end of 2008, and that's when I really found that it was getting worse again for women, and I wanted to move ahead and start this project, and that's how it happened. And now we have a wonderful team that's doing much more than I can do myself, and they're doing a great job in, in promoting and nurturing those voices. Terrific. So tell us how you feel about being here today with WNBA. Thank you so much. It's a great award. I'm honored. I feel that it's not for me. It's really for a group of us that have collaborated and worked together. The power of collaboration is really remarkable. And I'm the front man this time around. One more question before I close. What can we do here today, right now, amongst ourselves here in New York, to, uh, to better the situation of women in Afghanistan? One thing I... Uh, I love to suggest is that you go on the site itself and comment on the works of the women. So one of them walks four hours through Taliban held territory to send us a poem. And the comments that are left on the site from these women, awwproject.org, really mean a lot. We're also, of course, collecting money. We have opened up a writer's hut for them. They named it themselves in five rounds of voting. And we hope to continue to support them. We already have given many of them laptops. We want to give them internet. And we're hoping to help fund what we hope will be Afghanistan's first women-only internet cafe. That is wonderful. Masha, thank you very much for doing this interview. Thank you, Karen. Congratulations. Bye.